Under the guidance of many hungry young adult children, Sean is making potato salad and deviled eggs for our annual family and friends Labor Day barbecue. He is going to need to make a lot to keep up with the quality control team. Master at work, making yourself gorgeous for the barbecue. No, it's not. You're already gorgeous. Are we ready for the party? Yay! Yay! Get your teeth nice and shiny. Potato salad master at work. Still. No, Zach. Not that big a spoon. <laughs> Zach, not that big a spoon for taste testing. <laughs> Get another spoon and scoop it off there. <laughs> you ruined it. How dare you? Get that spoon away from my potato salad. <laughs> <laughs> Not there. I was thinking of the spoon, but I mean, I thought it was socially inappropriate. It is socially inappropriate, but Zach doesn't care. <laughs> That's going to get into the The thing is, I can actually eat all this. You can eat all of them, both trays. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, not sure where the curry's going. Maybe it's kind of shorter. Cheers. I'll do. Yeah, I think we need a couple more. Appreciate it. You did it too. What? You didn't wait for me. She'll, she'll eat one with you. Your daughter's not ready. You're not supposed to laugh in the water. It's not good for you. You keep laughing in the water. And I don't want to watch you. I'm going to try to do it. Chief Barbecue, is it turned on? I hope so. How so, come so few burgers? Because those were on there. Wait, can't you put more on now? Yeah. Darren has been having seizures off and on all day. Earlier they were minor and he was able to carry on. After getting out of the pool, he suddenly lost his balance, became limp, and had an absent look in his eyes. After this, he went unconscious, coming to just enough to vomit multiple times. Between this and the extreme heat, we decided we needed help. A phone call was made and the first responders and ambulance quickly arrived to help and transport Darren to the hospital. Also having a swallowing disorder increases the risk of aspiration for Darren, so we monitor him closely and keep him in the recovery position while he's vomiting. Okay, 
Arrived at the hospital, Darren had perked up a little, but he was very agitated and upset. It was obvious he could tell something was happening, but he couldn't explain it to us. We're at the hospital. Darren had another seizure when we got here. He's done a bit of vomiting. We've just given him some medicine to help with the nauseousness and some more Ativan to help stop the seizures, and he's just resting now. He's got an IV. feeling so poorly that he didn't even react to the IV going in. Now we're just resting. They took some blood work so that we can see what's going on with him. Today has been extremely hot and we're thinking that it is contributing to the severity of Darren's seizure. We're hoping for some cooler weather soon. Been here for an hour and a half. Darren's sound asleep. Medicine's really kicked in and knocked him out, but he hasn't seizing anymore, so that's good. After two hours, the blood work all came back normal. Darren is well medicated and stable, so we get to go home. On Tuesday, we will contact his medical team as they continue to find the best treatment for him. And a huge thank you to everybody that helped Darren and us during this time. We couldn't have done it without you. We really appreciate you.